This week on Redbeard's Overthunk Junk, we load a trailer and head to a car show. Then we take a look at the new place. Somebody parked an old truck there. Hey guys, Redbeard here. Uh, look, uh, been a kind of a long weekend. Uh, we went up and did that car show. A buddy, a uh, friend of a shop, put it on uh, just up here up the road. I don't know, five, six miles, miles, and uh, we towed the uh, we towed uh, Sammy Mog up there and up and drove Waffles. Waffles actually drove really good. Uh, I think the transmission's finally not over full anymore. Everything's doing better. Uh, minimal fluid underneath it this time, which, you know, drives me crazy. But compared to what it was, uh, we're in a lot better shape. So, didn't go without issue, though. Uh, coming back, when we got up to the car shows up and it popped the hood up on the on Waffles. And uh, I, I shut the hood on Waffles, right? So, I shut it and I didn't do the rubber straps. Now, if you remember a couple weeks ago, I was going to do the turnbuckle style on the outside of the hood. I couldn't get them to fit right. Well, what I wanted to do then was put a set of these turnbuckle style, the, the adjustable rod length ones, like what I did for my windshield hold down, but I didn't order them. And what do you know, we got done at the car show and everything, we wrapped up. Uh, at around 46 miles an hour, I happened to see in the rearview mirror the hood dance just a hair uh, on Zeppelin's, uh, was Zeppelin driving waffles, and the hood came up. Yeah. <laughs> Not good. Not good at all. The windshield held, so we're going to fix. So he did great, got her off the road, got her over to the shoulder, did not panic. Uh, I threw my flashers on and kind of paced in front of him, you know. And uh, he was able to watch the yellow line and the white line and guide her off the road. So everything went good there. I uh, do have quite a bit of damage to the hood, so guess what? We're going to have to fix that. Uh, but I do have the new hood latches coming. They'll be here by the weekend. We'll get those put on. And they're going to be visible from the outside. No way around it. So no more overlooking it. But i uh, got a few issues going on. We're getting down the upper 30s at night. We're only getting into the 50s at daytime. It's time to start it, uh, getting everything ready for winter. Um, we're going to patch up the hole in my wall, put some more insulation in where I may have had the electrical fire and had to rip everything out. I still haven't filled all that back in yet. So I'm going to do that. And the four-wheeler had quit running. And... Uh, I think it's an 87 Honda, and, uh, well, I know it's a Honda, but I think it's an 87. Anyway, um, she quit starting on me, and uh, she'd been a little hard to start a few times, and, man, I blamed it on the choke, I blamed it on everything, and uh, fought it, fought it, fought it, and the other day, I just couldn't get started again. So I'm sitting there like, you know, if kids can run around St. Louis and steal Kias and Hondas and whatnot, like newer ones... Surely I can get a 36-year-old uh, Honda to fire up, right? So, tore apart. I'd replaced the coil a while back. I never quite liked how the plug hooked on. Uh, Homing everything out using test lights. Uh, wasn't getting consistent power to the coil, right? And so, uh, ohmed out the coil. It seemed within uh, reason of where I thought it should be through the coil. Uh, I think it was uh, 2.2 thousand ohms, so 2,200 ohms. Uh, that seemed about right uh, from the outlet through to either one of the other posts. So, and I wasn't getting anything to ground. It wasn't like the coil went bad internally. So, everything looked good on that. Um, put that all back together. Started sourcing out. Dug through back here in the wiring and the battery. And I'm like, ah, I'm just not feeling it, you know. But what I didn't like was the kill switch. So, 36-year-old electronics probably been full of water and everything so i pulled the kill switch apart and uh you can see here i did one of my shrink and ink uh hot wire taps dude i tell you what factory wiring harnesses never cease to amaze me how many twisted grounds and stuff there is anyway i've tightened all that up i'm going to tape all that shut but look here uh fires right up everything's good but the kill switch does nothing uh kill switch is discontinued at this point uh, everything else should still work, but anyway, kill switch is out, so we'll, uh, we'll worry about that later, but anyway, I'm going to put this back together, get it all back together, and this is up and running now, so anyway, I got a few things to work on this week, hopefully a pretty good week, uh, I am happy that the four wheeler is starting again, uh, we'll see if I'm going to have to work on that choke or not, aftermarket carb, uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe that coil hasn't been getting good, uh, Maybe it hasn't been uh, 
connecting that ground loop very well for a while. Maybe it's been a little weak on its ground. Uh, that'd be nice if it's been an ignition problem more when it's cold uh, than a choke issue, but uh, we'll see. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. We'll catch up with you. Hey, guys. Redbeard here. Look, uh, I had a little incident. I mentioned it earlier, but uh, I was able to get in. There's a hole in the hood. Of course, this is in the uh, double paneled section. I was able to get in there and get this center part to pop right out. It's optimistic. I'm going to try to get in and get the rest of it out. Uh, we did have minimal paint loss. <sighs> a little raccoon on Coos, Coos Creek over here took, took a hit. And over here I got some exposed paint. I'm going to fix that the best way I know how. We're going to put a sticker over it. I mean, seems like the logical thing to do. But uh, I got my body shop tools out here. We got a pry bar and a rubber hammer. Let's see what we can do. Uh, anyway, I'm going to work on this. And uh, we'll see if we can get this thing to straighten out a bit. Thank you. Hey guys, look at that. Good as new. Man, look at that. Would you look? Oh, I mean, look at that. Redbeard was here. And we had to fix the other side too. Uh, something tells me I'm going to talk to Dan and get some bigger stickers over here. But, whew, tell you what, that thing is mint compared to what it was. <laughs> anyway, close enough sometimes. That's enough for a win. Uh, thanks, guys. We'll catch you later.